Okay, good day guys, good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel guys, thanks for being here. And as always, as always, you know, we ask you guys to, you know, one, smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel because these are free and easy ways to give the youth a strength and to give the channel a strength. So guys, we have a, a bit of... of information here for you guys surrounding some player omissions for the upcoming world cup qualifying games and also the peru friendly so first we're going to talk a bit about shamar boza nicholson and this is coming by way of the jamaica gleaner it um the article reads nicholson to miss upcoming world cup qualifiers national striker shamar nicholson could be absent from the reggae boy squad for the next three CONCACAF World Cup qualifiers. The Gleaner has been reliably informed that Nicholson has turned down the Jamaica Football Federation's call-up for World Cup qualifiers against Mexico, Panama, and Costa Rica. The reggae boys will face the Mexicans. All right, blah, blah, blah. That part is not important. They will round out their three match series. The part that are important. Neither, I mean, we all know that already. It is understood that Nicholson turned down the JFS invitation because he needed more time to settle in at his new club, Sparta Moscow in Russia. A move which I am very much against. But, anyways, following his move from Belgian club. Charlotte earlier this month and by by move i'm referring to the, the transfer move spartak moscow are currently 19 russian premier league with 23 points from 18 games when contacted reggae boys team manager roy simpson said he will not be commenting on the matter and caused the jfs general secretary dalton win on his mobile phone went unanswered the 24-year-old Nicholson, who last represented the Reggae Boys in November against the United States, has scored 29. No, that is wrong. That tw has scored 29 goals in 29 appearances for the national team. Somebody not, somebody not look at this thing before it go up, man, to see if it is, you know, to see if it is properly edited. But I understand how big Gleena. 29 goals in 29 appearances. Isn't it something like 10 goals in 29 appearances, if I'm not mistaken? Don't quote me on that, but I definitely know that it is not 29 goals in 29 appearances. But I understand how big newspaper now of people are. I don't understand this. You know, look over the thing before you publish it, man. Fact check it to, you know, to see if everything is, is correct before you guys publish it. I don't understand. But anyways, you know, that's that's the situation pertaining to Shamar Nicholson. We'll get to Paris in a second. But not surprising that Nichol not surprising that Nicholson is opting out. Um some may understand, some may be a bit upset. I don't really know how to feel about this, to be honest with you. I really and truly don't know how to feel about this. Because to be fair, it's, I mean, it's three big upcoming games, you know, right? I mean, this is the reggae boy putting club over country, you know. If this is true, you know, and Shamar has indeed turned down the invitation. This is the reggae boy putting club over country, right? At, at a crucial stage when, when we probably need him the most, right? Three big upcoming games that... You know, if we don't have favorable results in these three upcoming games, you know, guys, you know, we, we, we're not going to Qatar, right? And he, you know, will not be featuring in, in the Qatar World Cup. So, I, boy, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. And on the one hand, I understand it, but... Tell me that in a September when the World Cup qualifiers just are starting, you just make a move. But you're telling me that now, when we need all hands on deck, guys, hit me in the comment section and let me know what you think about this. 
right? Hit me in the comment section and let me know what you think about this, guys. All right. Up next is Kahim Paris. Gonna be talking. The article goes further on to talk about Kahim Paris. Wait, last paragraph on Boza, he's joint leading goal scorer for Jamaica in World Cup qualifiers. Nicholson and Antonio have scored two goals each. All right. So up next, Kahim Paris. It is understood midfielder Kahim Paris, who plays his trade in Slovenia for FC Copper, has turned down the JFF's invitation to represent the country in their friendly international against Peru on January 20th. Paris 22 who is a former Dintil Technical High School and Cavaliers player, has scored five goals in 14 appearances for Copper this season. He has made four appearances for the Reggae Boys so far. When contacted yesterday, Kevin Cohen, who is the agent for both players, said he was in a meeting. So nobody not talk, no one talk about them two story. I mean, I understand. I would be go shush about them two stories here. Um, I I had heard a, 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 an explanation given on um, big up JD. This is on this explanation was given on JD's channel IMAX TV. You know, a very credible individual who would have a lot of information where where, you know, Kahim Paris is concerned, you know, said something on IMAXIT, JD's channel, IMAXIT TV. Now, I'm not going to repeat what the individual said because in all fairness to the individual, we who were watching the stream assumed that the individual was talking about Kahim Paris. He did not specifically state that the individual in question was Kahim Paris. But you know, you guys can go over to uh, and try and find that part in that particular live that JD did and see what you think about that whole explanation as to why a, 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 a high profile player might not be in the upcoming um friendly against Peru. As I said, the credible individual did not state you know, who he was speaking about. So I'm not going to repeat that. Many of us assume it, he was speaking about Paris, but he did not expressly state that. So I cannot say that, you know, that particular explanation is in relation to, you know, Paris. So I won't repeat it. But if it is indeed about Paris, you know, an interesting, interesting, you know, <laughs> interesting um bit of information there but so guys again two players many reggae boys would 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 really want to have seen in these you know upcoming games kahim paris is a player that many reggae boys fans including myself has been saying that this player deserves to get a look in at the very least a look in and an opportunity to prove himself you know, this is a player that, you know, is, is doing well in, in the Slovenian first division and is starting for a team that the last time I checked, they were first in the Slovenian first division. I'm not so sure if I haven't, I haven't checked. I need to go and check the, the Slovenian um, table again. But the last time I checked and for the longest while, Copper was leading the table but if memory serves me right i think maribor were hot on their heels for a long time you know so paris doing well in over there in slovenia young player deserves to get a look in man deserves to get a look in and many of us will be disappointed that we won't get to see what kahim paris you know we, 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 you know, can do for the reggae boys. You know, we haven't seen the player since he made that big move to the Slovenian first division. So I know that many of us would be very, very, very disappointed, including myself, that Paris, you know, from what is being reported by the Gleaner, even despite the, the, the wrong um, 
statistical information, still a very credible source, you know, and uh, probably, I don't know, probably just a typo or so. And, you know, Shamar Nicholson and an and issue that I know that will stir some heavy debate, you know, Nicholson picking club over, over country. And the one, and I can understand it, it's a massive move for the player, you know, but on the other hand, it, 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 it doesn't rub reggae boy. I don't think it will rub reggae boys fans the right way that the player is choosing, is apparently choosing club over country. That, that's how it feels. You know, and especially for me personally, who, you know, I've stated in previous videos why I think that I don't think the move to Sparta Moscow was the best move for him. I think he should have I think he should have stayed put in Belgium, man. That, that's, and I gave the reasons on that. You know, multiple reasons why I think that it might not be the best move for him, but I understand, you know, and to be fair, Sparta Moscow is a massive, massive, massive and prestigious football club, right? But guys, that's the breaking news as it pertains to these two reggae boys. Hit me up in the comment section, guys, and let me know what you think. Take care. Stay safe, guys, and until next time. Smash the like button as well and subscribe to the channel as well, guys.